Hi there, I'm Tom. I'm one of the developers here at Rome. Uh, hopefully you've already read a little bit about uh, the hackathon that's gone on in the blog. Um, I worked on one of the hackathon projects called Imagination. Uh, this is essentially a tool for searching through uh, images. So we've, we're in a unique position here at Rightmove that we've got uh, over 10 years worth of property images. Um, associated with that we have the, uh, the property data. Um, so this puts us in a great position to be able to um, search on these images. Um, what we wanted to do in this project was to pr provide a way that was uh, really useful um, to search on these images. So let's take a look at how it works. If we click here, then this will take us through into the tool. Um, you see there's uh, different types of rooms here uh, that we can choose to search on. Let's say today we want to look at bedrooms particularly. So we'll click bedrooms and we're brought back with a whole load of uh, images about of bedrooms. Um, now, we haven't pinned it down at all about what kind of bedrooms we want to see. Uh, we've got a couple of options here, such as the price range. Do we want to see cheap and cheerful properties or uh, slightly posher ones? So let's just leave that on no limit at the moment. Uh, we've got property types here, so we can choose to search by the houses or flats. Now we get to the interesting one, the colour. So you see there's a palette of uh, nine different colours here that we can search on. Now, here's the science bit. Uh, if we select one of these colours, uh, for example today, let's do pink, and then we can perform a search on it. Let's have a look. Let's go through the keyhole. And here you see we've got a bunch of pink images. So uh, I'll just briefly uh, talk about the science behind uh, choosing the colours. Uh, we run a, run a job on every, every image that we see here uh, to pick out the predominant colour. We then store that as a bit of data next to the colour. When a search is executed, for example, let's look at blue ones now, blue becomes the target colour. So you see we've got a bunch, bunch of blue bedrooms now. Uh, what's happening in the background is um, the, uh, the target colour, i.e. blue, is uh, envisaged as um, a point in a three-dimensional space. Uh, when we uh, search on the images, we then plot, essentially plot, all of the uh, colours uh, of the images in this three-dimensional space, and we find the closest uh, in the Euclidean space, so uh, that's how it works. So let's uh, take a look for some red lounges. And we come back, we've got a bunch of red lounges here. You can scroll down and you can see there's a whole load of uh, different ones. As we come down the page, you may notice that the lounge is getting less and less red. Um, so this is this is uh, just because um, we've only got a certain number of images indexed at the moment. In fact, we've only got about half, half a million or so indexed. And we've got another uh, 20 million or so images that we could index, which would mean a whole wider variety of different colors um, and different types of rooms. Now, we think this could be really interesting, both to people that just want a bit of a nose, but also, more importantly, people who are perhaps looking at how they want to decorate their house, even straight through to uh, interior designers and uh, perhaps uh, people who want to look at the history of decor. Impossible.